So we've got some, some blood. I hope it's fake. It is All fake. over your legs and your hands. And then you've got, what is this, some blood dropping off the... Blood dropping. Oh, and a hanger. Hey, everyone. I'm Tierra Rose Mandelberg with Ember CTV. Today, we're in Washington, D.C. at the Bands Off Our Bodies rally, where we saw men, women, and even children fighting for the right to abort. Check it out. Test, test, test. Awesome. Tell me about your signs. You've got this one says bands off my body and this one says my coochie my right. Ironically you're holding that. I mean it's not mine but I support it. Uh, this sign is actually a holdover from the first uh, women's march that we made and so we brought it back out. Uh, obviously it's a little provocative so we're a little nervous about using it. The human race. <laughs> It's screwed. So tell me about the hats, the shape of them. What's what's the significance? They're the pussy hats that were used back in the Trump march, the day after Trump was elected, the women's march. Yeah. So how do you guys feel about the leak of the Roe v. Wade possible overturn that might push the decisions to states? Uh, the Supreme Court no longer represents the people. The majority no longer has an influence in any decisions made by the court. So let's break it down. So it says abort. So in that case, you mean end. And finish kaput. Well, totally luckily, we live in Colorado. So our governor has already passed a law to keep abortion rights safe in Colorado. But if it becomes a federal mandate, then we will lose that law. And yeah, I'm very concerned about it. We know what it was like when we didn't have abortion rights. But yes, we wanted to come out and just support women's rights and just the fact that this will affect women in the long term because no abortions mean there's no safe ones at this point. So we are going to possibly lose women in the future. Pro-lifers are pro-Nazis, and the Nazis will bring an actual genocide. Thank God for safe abortions. Wow, so tell me what you've got going on here. There's a lot. Yeah, well, I wanted to have bring a visceral experience to the um, protest. So we've got some, some blood. I hope it's fake. It is All fake. over your legs and your hands. And then it says, I'm proud of my choice. And then you've got, what is this, some blood dropping off the... Blood dropping. Oh, and a hanger. Uh, I've got Dang. two hangers. Uh, the other one is over here. Oh, yes, let's, let's do a full spin here. <laughs> okay, wow. Look at all that. Keep your hands off my you-know-what. So what is on these little? Um, just little things that remind me why I'm here. My the body, body my choice. Um, I've got some that say that don't kill us. Um, you mean the woman? Uh, female, or people who have uteruses. Uh, pregnancy is dangerous. We celebrate birthdays. So when a baby is born, that's when it is here on the planet, alive, breathing. So do you, would you consider like up to the day they're born, not a, not a human? It's not a live, living, autonomous being on the planet, no. It's still living off of the person it's inside. Even like up until eight months and 20 or 30 days out of 31, right before nine months? You know, ultimately that doesn't matter. Abortion is murder. And the narrative that they're pushing is that anything inconvenient, that you don't want. You can just kill. It's a baby's body, so it's what about their, you know, life? Yet. When, when does it become a baby? Well, so the whole idea of when is something alive, like, I am alive, mm -hmm. she is alive, yeah. you are alive. So if there's something happening inside of you that needs to be taken care of medically, we all need the ability to allow that to happen. That's what this is about. It's kind of sad that we're at a point where we care more about a fetus than we do a fully developed woman with thoughts and feelings and it's been here for, you know, a long time. What are some of the reviews you've gotten out here? Mostly positive, mostly negative? Um, mostly positive. Um, uh, parents aren't taking their children away. I hope they're having There's the conversation. Here, yeah. Surprisingly. I hope they're having the conversation about what it means. Holy crap. It's no one else's business except my, my spouse or my and my minister. Oh, so are you a Catholic or a Christian? Or? Yes, I am. Very okay. much so. What do you, yes. How do you feel about, um, so in the Bible it says, thou shalt not murder. What do you, what's your um, argument against that with the idea of abortion? Well, I would talk about guns then. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank Bye. you.